Okay. Now we are. Okay. So then that way Thanks, I can pull it up and I can look at it later. Okay. And then, so I'll do that. Okay. okay. So let's start with the finance committee. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read you the things on the finance committee. I'll try and identify along with uh, Gloria, the things we've already done and what's left and what should be eliminated, if anything. Set budget timeline, perfect disbursement policy, review and revise investment policy, understand current investments. Well, that's not. Mm -hmm. Review line of credit, that's not. Make ready accounts for tax levy reception. Okay. I don't know what that means. In okay. my book, the only thing it meant is how we word that uh, uh, motion for to the board, and that's the only thing. And okay. uh, I was trying. The reason I asked you for where were the twenty twenty uh, minutes minutes, yep. which I still didn't find, is so I could see how that motion was worded to go to. Okay. 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 Yeah, the minutes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's on the um, the minutes is January eighth, twenty twenty. Yes. Uh huh. And that's that's where you're gonna find the wording for for the motion. Uh huh. Okay. And so that so that is not an issue. So really, um, the only thing the finance committee is working on is probably, I think they need to uh, update uh, and revise the um, investment policy and the other policy that needs to be uh, uh, reviewed is the one on uh, uh, disbursement. Well, we did disbursement, but we've changed how we do it. So we need to re-review it and bring it to the board and send it to the lawyer uh, to make sure that we're in, in order. This other stuff, uh, setting the budget timeline is probably too early for them to do that. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, exactly. So, so really the finance committee, because it meets twice a month, is going to be on top of anything that relates to policy uh, for them. Okay. Now, the next one is personnel. Okay, can I interrupt for just a second to ask Gloria, when did you say the investment policy you found in the minutes? Not the, the investment policy. No, she's talking about the uh, wording for the uh, budget. budget, January 8th, 2020. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, next is uh, personnel. Go ahead. Um, Dan, can I ask you a quick question? Did you contact Ann and, and give her the information she needs? Yes, I did. She got everything okay. and then, yeah, and I came into the library and okay. Mike took a copy of my license and was okay. either going to send it in or put it on Betty Sue's desk and then she was going to fax it or whatever. All right, thanks, Dan. I'll give her a yep. oh, That's great. Now we move to personnel. <clears throat> Develop agreement with the library director. That we found uh, the contract between the uh, library director and the board, that particular contract uh, has not been uh, seen by the uh, lawyer. It's on, well, she hasn't seen the changes. So we haven't gotten it back. So basically we just still have the old contract. I guess I'm confused because at our last, at our board meeting with Greta, I believe Linda has stated, stated right before the meeting, she has sent a copy of that to Greta. Yes. Didn't have a chance to review it because we got it, you know, prior to two minutes before the meeting. So you okay. Saying, well, Greta is going to send me directly the last copy she has, so we okay. can compare that 
to the ones that you received from Terry. Greta is concerned because by the time I was receiving things, they had gone through several hands and had not come directly to me. So once I get this, I'll ship you guys a copy and make sure it's what everybody's looking at the same thing. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so that, so that is on the board and that should soon be resolved. Uh, develop a board self-evaluation. Uh, that's yes, but not at the top of my list. Uh, develop pay scales for personnel. Um, I guess the personnel committee will have to decide if they want to do that. Uh, review job descriptions. I think that's a must. And Adopt them. Be, be confidential place for employee concerns. No. That has to come off. That has to come off. Does uh, do, do, do you understand uh, uh, Dan and Debbie why that has to come off? No, it's not can't. saying we can't talk to the staff, right. but it says that I can't come up to the staff and give them direction uh, no, about that's something that's to that's do that's that's because that's I'm that's not that's their that's boss. The only yeah, person I'm the boss of is, or not me particularly, but the board right. is the boss of is Betty Sue. Betty Sue yeah, but, is a supervisor. And, However, yeah. there is one thing that I do think that uh, is uh, the personnel committee needs to consider. And that is uh, uh, a policy for complaints. How would a staff member uh, complain, make a complaint? If not about a employee, about uh, their boss, what is the process in that? I can, I inter can I interject there? Um, I know that there have been employees who have gone to board members before. I would not have been in the pickle that I was in over going to Maryland if it hadn't been for an employee that had called Terry. I have said to the board, to the employees since the moment I started, you can talk to any board member anytime you want because it was a problem when I started that they were not allowed to. Now, I don't oh, like that is that is Sue. They have a right Betty to Sue. That. It, That's not what I'm saying. What are you I'm saying? saying that every workplace has a policy for a complaints. I don't want anyone coming to me directly. By the time anything gets to the board, it has to be in writing. You're not catching me on the side or any board okay. member and saying, I want to make a complaint about so-and-so. I don't want to hear it. If you have not gone to your supervisor, but I'm the and, only one, and done your due diligence and tried to work with your supervisor uh, to work the issue out, and before it comes to the board, it still has to go. It has to be in, in written format. We're we're just. I mean, okay. we'd have everybody walking up to the board and saying, "I want to make a complaint." All right. You are absolutely right, Joyce, and I agree. And what it was finally explained to me after I'd been here for a couple of years is the process of this board should work like an hourglass. That when the board has something they want to say to me or to any other employee, it comes to me and then I disperse it to the staff in the right. same way that the staff, when they have concerns and complaints, should come to me. And then I see the one to write. So what they I'm come saying, to you they if they have a problem with the way you govern, yes. Yes. they must first come to you. But what I was trying and to say work is, it out. And I if that write. does not work, then okay. they have to put it in writing, and the board has to decide uh, how or if they will hear that complaint. Okay, because it they may be based on our other policy. It's it's not. It's not ours to handle. Okay. You understand so what I'm let's saying? Say, let me ask this question. So let's say, let's go back to the fact I went to Maryland. So someone feels that was wrong 
and they went to a board member. They could have put it in writing to the board member or the board president as they did, but they should also have sent a copy to me. Absolutely. So you can go to a board, to the board president, but you have to go to me first. And then if they you have to come to writing, me first, it will, it will still come to me so I can't be blindsided. Except for the whistleblower policy, the whistleblower, the whistleblower policy, yep. the whistleblower policy, um, uh, I you think the whistleblower, but we're not talking whistleblower. No, talk. We're, we're just talking about regular, a regular grievance and all yep. normal, and all normality would stop at you. Yep. A regular okay. grievance stops at the director. The okay. director resolves it. If the staff doesn't like it, they can leave and go find another job. Because if the, if the director is following policy, it's not going to come to us. Or Thank if it you. comes to us, we're going to recognize the policy and okay. we're going to say what you say absolutely stands. Okay. It's, not comfortable, and I'm not, I'm just throwing this out there, because my mind, because I'm going to be off the conference, but I'm just thinking, what happened if the staff member's not comfortable with going to the director? I'm just throwing that out there, because it happens in some places. Because, yes, it does. Uh, the one place, uh, when I worked for the county, uh, what they were going to do was going to put a box, and so if somebody had a complaint about me, it would be on the, they would put it in the box, and it would go to the director, but they wouldn't sign, they wouldn't sign their name. So I told my director, my boss, if anybody put a complaint in a box about me and they didn't sign their name, yeah, and he was not to call me in his office. Exactly. And then the next day, the next couple of days, they took the box away. Because <laughs> everybody said, Well, Gloria, everybody's not vocal like you, but to me, some people, I don't know. So I, I think that that's a policy that needs to be looked at. Okay. Um, I think the first half of that policy is very easy to do. The second part is where we may need help from Nyoga and looking okay. at what okay. needs to be done. Can, can I make you know what? I'll reach out. I will reach out to the other directors and ask if they have a policy on when an employee has a concern that they don't want to take to the director. Okay, so I'll right. put that out to them. Yes, tomorrow. Right, and uh, uh, but do we have a uh, an employee? Do we have a policy uh, for a, a, an employee to take a complaint to the director? I don't know. I don't know. I bet it too. I don't think so. So ask them to also give you. Uh, uh, okay. Because you only want when an employee comes with a complaint, and they and they write it down. You'll want to track that as a director right. too. Right. Yep, I got so it. Ask if they have a regular complaint policy as well. Okay, can sounds I, good. Can I, can I make a quick suggestion? And I think that is a. Uh, uh -huh. Hey Joyce, can uh -huh. you can you see that Dan's got his hand up? I didn't hear you. Dan oh. Dan's been trying to ask say something for. Yeah. Yes, Dan. Want, yeah, I just want to make a quick suggestion about this. What if we were to put one selective board member as a person that an employee could go to if they didn't mm -hmm. feel comfortable in a Betty Sue? What if we did that and just had one selected board member that's posted to the employees that said, if you have an issue and you don't feel comfortable going to the director, this is the board member you can go to. Okay. Your cell phone, email. I, I, I think, Dan, for that, you're asking us to go into the weeds. And I would not want to encourage that because you, you will find that we'll get caught up in such a legal mess mm -hmm. that it would be more than we would ever want. You know, uh, because <clears throat> sometimes people tell you things that they don't have a right to tell you. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I would prefer that we follow the policy where staff first go to their supervisor and then Betty Sue's going to let us know what surrounding areas, maybe bring us yep. a policy of what they have yep. so the that. personnel committee can review it. Uh, because once we start interacting with the staff, we're undermining the director's uh, role and responsibility. And I, for one, do not want to be a board member and a director or a supervisor. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you? No. <laughs> 
I'll see um, what I can find out. Okay. Um, so we will remove, I, and I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll try and uh, update this list um, after we're finishing. Okay. More work than I want. Um, and it says develop COVID-19 policy established as a separate committee. Well, Dan, you and I are, have been on that. And um, uh, it's been kind of stagnant for a little while because everything is based on what the yep, governor sorry. is saying. Yep. Out, uh, the treatment has not changed. Nope. Uh, and review staff evaluation after direct has completed them. Um, I think we can sort of table that for now until we yep. get evaluations and then we can talk about the process. Okay. Anything we need to add uh, to this personnel other than uh, looking at a complaint policy? Yes. Yes, what? Uh, I don't know that you wanna take it up right now, but I mentioned it to you the other day, Joyce, that Ron Tower has submitted his oh, yes. resignation. So yes, yes. we are going to have to find a way to deal with the routine maintenance. Uh, and you might wanna look at that differently than has been done in the past but we're going to have to have someone filling that capacity. So, okay. So um, look at the possibility of hiring a part-time maintenance guy. That's one of the things you were talking about before. And that may yeah. be what it comes down to, but first you need to figure out what is it you want this person to do? And is it a part-time, part is it a part-time salary? Is it an hourly? Those are all the things that you're going to have to. I, I think, first, I think first maybe we would well, maybe um, together to figure out the personnel <clears throat> personnel will do that the personnel committee yep. is right now i know extremely busy because they have to complete the uh the sick leave policy and, uh, well which one is it the uh the uh pto the, the pto, the, the PTO yeah. yep. it's the pto policy that has to be finished yep. and then uh after the PTO, then uh, I would ask if they would start looking at the job description for a maintenance uh, staff, for a maintenance uh, person. Can you I ask could a question? Also, oh, I'm sorry, Debbie, you go right ahead. Well, that's okay. But, I mean, I, I don't know who this guy is, what he did, um, and why. I mean, did okay. He just... You want a little bit? I'll give you just a little bit of background. Please. He was hired when you first moved into this building. He originally did the lawn mowing and the snow plowing as well as routine maintenance. Over the years, they removed lawn mowing and snow plowing and those items were bid out every year. So it wasn't as much of a part-time job as it had been before. Ron has been paid hourly $27 an hour, which is more than just about anybody in this library has been paid. But the thought was, and I had no part of this, I inherited this, was that you weren't gonna find somebody to do it for less. I have no idea. Um, Ron used to come in here every Sunday and just spot check what needed to be done. He really hasn't done that in a while, though he has still been receptive when I have said, Ron, we need light bulbs changed or this or that or the other thing. Uh, but I, he, he said, you know, thank you for the opportunity. I've enjoyed being there but I have another part-time job I'm going to pursue and I want more time for myself. He's 65-ish. So, you know, we all get that. So it's not, it's not leaving under bad terms and it is the opportunity to redefine what you're looking for in a person to do that kind of thing. Yes, Dan. Um, my suggestion on this would be maybe put a small committee together to bring up ideas, brainstorm what we would like them to do, then take it to maybe say um, finance committee to find out how much we could actually pay that person, then bounce it to the board once it's once it's all been done and all the X's have been crossed and also run it through Betty Sue to see what stuff should be done. Then once everything is done, once we have the finance committee on board, the other committee that's got the job responsibilities and got it all set, then we take it to the actual board for approval. I know it's and not going to- One other thing I would add to that, I think it would be worthwhile to run it by buildings and grounds because 
they know a lot of this type of stuff. Maybe have the buildings and grounds then take it up and then run it by finance committee once that they have it brought too. up to see and what- And actually all of those things uh, will be done once we get, once personnel has come up with a generalized job description okay. uh, for that. So okay. we're gonna charge the initial uh, rollout of what that is to um, personnel and uh, move the, huh? When do we have to do that? Um, when is Ron retiring? The 13th Next of this week. week. So you oh. gave us no time. <laughs> okay. So we know personnel is busy. Yeah. Nomination and elections. Um, explore, well, exploring legalities and logistics for absentee ballots. We can cross that out. Uh, things are pretty much set how they do uh, the rollout for uh, nominations and elections. Yes. We just need someone that follows the uh, procedures that are already in place. Yep. And if there are any changes, the uh, Board of Elections will notify us of any changes oh. that need to be. This committee doesn't work on the on on that. This is just elections no, and but, nominations for us. Uh, Betty Sue, what I'm saying is that for nominations and elections, uh, we're I prioritizing if there are issues with them, what they need. We don't need nominations and elections, explore regalities and logistics. This is a cut and dry committee. Okay. Yes, it is. It's cut and dry. There's no going out exploring nothing. You know, okay. you just do. I'm sorry. The, I thought you were talking about when we hold elections here no, rather no, no, than no, no, your no. elections. No, I'm sorry. I'm Hold saying up. that committee does not go out and seek legal advice over okay. something that's already been established. Okay. Got it. Okay. They don't need to review nominee procedures, they need to perform the uh, actions as already outlined mm -hmm. and approved by the Board of Elections and uh, the board. Okay. So they are okay. The next one is planning. Develop a one-year plan. Do we have a one-year plan, Betty Sue? No. No. Do we have a five-year plan? No. 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 Okay. The last uh, time the planning committee met, um, I think Gloria, you were there. Aren't you, weren't you on planning? A couple of years ago, I think. Okay. We talked about, um, it, Terry was running the meeting and we were looking at the, the last one, three and five year plan. And, and instead of just starting to plug things into it, I suggested that we look at those plans and mark off those items which were already done and then look at what hadn't been done and move them up into the one, three and five so that you're not reinventing the whole wheel. And at the time, I have notes on it somewhere. It, it was going pretty well. That was going pretty well. Okay. Then uh, we may need to uh, reinstitute and resurrect that and take a look at Absolutely. it. Um, the one thing that I suggested to you um, that, uh, oh, it's right here. Uh, uh, and, and I think this, when we're looking at uh, one, three and five year plan is develop brainstorming session. I'm, that's a no S with the board, the staff and the friends of the library where we all get together and maybe for half a day, uh, we work as a group to look at where we see the library going, some of the things and they have uh, the people that are intimately involved with the library uh, help participate in uh, developing uh, the one, three and five year plan. How does that sound? Mm -hmm. Yes, no, maybe so. Well, you and I talked about it yesterday and we were kind of yeah. excited about it. I, I'm, I'm still, but one person doesn't make a... Uh, I know. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Debbie? 
Sounds fine to me. Okay. And I, I think when we meet as a group, we can decide on when that day or date would be. Uh, review safety plan. Do we have a safety plan, uh, Betty Sue? I don't know what is meant by a safety plan. We have lots of safety measures in place. We can pull them out and see if that constitutes. We do have a plan for emergency exits, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And we've done some staff training on things like active shooters and stuff like that, though it probably should be done again because okay. now they changed the recommendations. Okay. So I'll write safety. All right. And see, I'll just put director because okay. that's something she'll do with staff. Yep. Develop code of ethics for board members. That's not me. There is a code of ethics. That's what I thought. There is one already. I don't, I don't think we used to have one in the book. And thought, but I don't know. Okay, we'll have to, we don't need to develop one. We need to review it. Mm -hmm. We'll find it and review it. Okay. So that's that. Uh, buildings and ground. Okay. The EV station, we can tick off. Mm -hmm. uh, bidding HVAC system for, we've already done that for this year. Snowplow bidding, we've already done that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, children's interest, ch entrance and the children's garden. I would put those off. Uh, yeah, because actually, uh, because the funding is, us, uh, the majority of funding is coming from the friends and uh, we would like to have them involved in it if we're gonna be getting money from them. And we'd like to have so, children here. But building and grounds, uh, once again, they'll be involved with the uh, maintenance person and yep. maybe uh, they too can be working on some of the things they would, would like to see them, see that maintenance person do. So that when we finally get a job description, all the people that are involved uh, will have contributed. Now, are we going to have to get a guy in before we come up with a decision on what to do or to hire somebody? Do I, I should... don't think you can. I think you're going to have to say to me, if we have a, if something we have to get fixed, that mm -hmm. I'm going to find somebody to take care of it. Like okay. if there was a plumbing problem, I will call Doug Bauer. Okay. If there's something broken, I will call Joe Baker. If there's something about one of our systems, I will call Kevin Doherty. I will just use what resources I have until you make a decision. Does okay. that seem reasonable? Yeah, at least you have those resources to call. That's I why do. I, I do. Okay. And when I don't, I ask my husband because he knows people who know people. You know? Okay. Right, so yeah. I'm not I'm not worried about it on the short term. I wouldn't right. want to do this for long. But long term, we need to plan this because That's this right. has to be in the budget. Yep. Uh, for the coming year. Well, remember, um, we're already paying Ron, so you've got some money coming out right there. Right. So it, there will be additional costs, but that should still be. Um, it should still be manageable. It should be manageable. Yep. Right. Well. Uh, local history, we don't have to do because that's already covered. Uh, that's one of those uh, committees that doesn't meet often until we have an issue. So that's that. I'll make sure I get that written up. Um, the next thing is a process for updating, adding, changing, and deleting policies. That's under the purview of uh, planning. And that's really your committee, right, Dan? Now, are, oh, excuse me, everyone. Dan, you, you had an announcement you wanted to make. Yeah, I just want to let everyone know. Um, obviously, I'm going to tell everyone at the next meeting. Um, probably March, at least March meeting, I will not be attending. As I am going back in the hospital, I am actually donating a kidney to a young lady in Medina that's actually not doing too well. She's on double kidney failure, um, in-home dialysis four times a week, and everything had matched up on my end. So I'm going to be going in um, the beginning of March to do a whole uh, 
a, a kidney donor to her. So just letting everyone know that my absence will be, you know, noticed for a short time. It will be noted. Well, we wish you well and do good luck at that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, uh, next, and this is just a, 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 well, I think I think we discussed it at our last board meeting, but I just wanted to talk about it just briefly in the executive uh, meeting that um, uh, we know that contacting the lawyer uh, does cost us money, it's not free. And we need to have a consistent way of uh, interacting or dealing with the lawyer. And in the past, it has been through uh, the director. It got a little muddled. I would like for us to, uh, like reaffirm that uh, uh, the directors are intermediary. And if the board or uh, one of the members of a uh, committee needs to contact the lawyer, that the uh, committee member make sure that it, there's at least one other person with them uh, during that conversation with the lawyer so that you have a, a backup to what you heard and to what is done. Uh, there should be two people listening and not just one person. Yes, Betty Sue. The other thing I have asked Greta moving forward is if she is going to send out an email to, to the board president, because that's the only person she's ever dealt with in any case was the board president. Um, then I wanted to be included in that so that I knew what was going on so that when board members asked me questions, I wasn't in the dark. Right. And that's, that's where, and she would like, she feels it's important that her office maintains our policy handbook so that if she needs to be reached for a, an issue, a legality, that she has our proper documents to give us the correct legal advice. So, okay. yes. I'm glad that you said that because um, from my understanding, when Greta was here last, uh, she said that if we uh, updated or uh, uh, reproved a, approved a policy in any mm -hmm. way, that we should have sent it to her mm -hmm. to preview and yep. to say, yes, this is okay. And they put keep a hard copy as yep. well as notifying us that they don't have a problem with it. Yep. Um, has that been going on consistently? Not because at all. I know we did a series of small policies and I'm not sure that they all went no. to Greta. No, they didn't. They so, didn't. But I don't know. I'm going, I need to send her another email. Uh, Barb and I were talking this afternoon. What, what her law firm produced for the board was the policy handbook for the employees. Yes, she needs, she should have all of our stuff, but they, she didn't generate all of it. Right. Um, so we can give it to her so that she's always got an accurate copy. But what, when, when you wanted to make the change in the PTO policy, I contacted Greta and said, can you send me this page? Because everything I have is in PDF form, so it can't be altered. Looking back on it, that's the way it should be. So that all the things would go to her would then be produced into PDF form, sent back, and then we could reproduce them for people to put in their, their books. Okay, so I just wanna make sure I got this right now. Okay. So the law, the, the, they, they keep a copy of yeah. the personnel policies. I think they have a copy of our whole book, but they only produced the, the employee policy handbook, okay? Okay, so if we change a word, let's say in the um, uh, community uh, dress code, you gotta wear shoes, mm -hmm. right? And a mm -hmm. shirt. And we change that. We have to send it to her, say, oh, we changed this word. We, we really know it's probably not a problem. I think we could tell them, but the only ones that she's worried about are those that they produced that were the policy for the employee. personnel. Yep. So basically it's the personnel policies, 
although we yep. still need to just yep. send her as an FYI. Yes. Policies. Yes. But, so that's where my confusion was because yep. we had a whole bunch of other policies. But uh, Betty Sue, another question, would that include our finance policies or no? It meaning what, Joyce? If we change uh, a process in our financial policies, would that have to go to Greta for approval or for review? I don't think so. It would just, yeah, I, I would think that it would need to be, uh, she would have to be able to have it available so that if we needed legal advice that we'd handled something incorrectly financially, that she can go to our policy handbook and say, no, it's written right here. You did exactly what you said you were going to do. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, so they the just keep a reason, copy of it, but they don't have to. Yes. So it's yes. only the person. And if that is anything different, I will let you know. Policies that are really. Okay. Okay. So that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, and it, it clarifies stuff for, for me now. Are there any questions? I would just like to say the fire time schedule of the morning. Yes. Um, I don't think any board members should be contacting the lawyer anyway. I, I, no, I they should. It should be based in the past. The press, I know um, it should be the president and, yep. and the director because right. you don't want to get yep. too many you people don't, involved. You, you really don't. People are contacting the lawyer. Nobody oh. knows they're contacting the lawyer. No. Yeah. And one I don't think that anybody that ever has. The meeting was that she was the board. Attorney. Yes. You know, yep. And not uh, an individual right. attorney. Yep. Uh, how do you think that maybe we should put uh, a motion on the floor to, uh, at our next meeting, uh, Dan and Debbie? That says what? That the uh, uh, lawyer uh, should only be contacted by the uh, either the uh, the director or the uh, president of the board. Yes, I would agree with that, but we should also have something in there. If president, it's unavailable. Or, or, can, or, design, or designate. Designate someone else. Okay. Yeah. I would yes. ask one more, I would add one more thing to that. That regardless of who is doing the communication, all Correspondence will go to both the board yes. president uh -huh. oh, yes. and the director. Yes, I agree. Uh -huh. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll make sure I put that down. Okay, now I have on here discussed date for possible retreat. That's the day for, I was talking about the brainstorming. But I think when we get together as a board. Uh, we can figure out what's good for that. Um, the last thing I had on my list was uh, to ask uh, um, the three of you, uh, how frequently do you want to meet? Monthly, every other month, every three months? It's, it's all up to you. I, I don't feel like we need, I personally don't feel we need to meet every month. No, I would say maybe every other month. Every other month. I, we can start out with every other month, but as things get tighter, we're going to find out that we might only need to meet twice a year. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I think every other month, what do you think, Debbie? That's, that's fine to start. I, I definitely would like it, you know, um, less as we move forward. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. to be honest, I, I, I mean, I think by the second time we meet, uh, things should be uh, a lot more settled down and we shouldn't need to meet for another like uh, four or five months. You know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> this is just to uh, get started and help get people, you know, help get our group uh, on track so that we're all, all heading in the same direction. Mm -hmm. And because uh, once that's done, I really only see the executive uh, group meeting twice a year probably mm -hmm. sometime in February, like now, and then maybe uh, in July, halfway through the year. So, uh, 
see if there's any corrective actions that need to be done uh, uh, as such, because uh, uh, it's not meant to be a no, meeting on the meeting. I, I, that's too much. Now, are, are we going to be switching this committee after the elections? Oh, like oh there's one more, one more thing. On, on, I want to know what everyone thinks about having uh, an in-person meeting for our meeting next Wednesday. We have enough space. The uh, uh, school district already meets in person and they have uh, uh, the video. Uh, I just need feedback uh, from you guys. I, I have no problem with it, but at this point I'm trying to stay away from- I understand as your I rationale. Did. I mean, for me, just because I, I'm working such long hours to mm -hmm. then have to go out on top of that and spend more hours at some other desk and some other place <laughs> rather than just being able to sit at my home and, and listen. Um, you know, I mean, we're, we're, I'm doing this today. I'm coming in Saturday. We're doing next week, you know, so there's a lot of, of stuff that's library right now. And, and yeah, there is. I'm, I'm, I'm getting so slammed at work that I just don't even know what to do. I, so I would rather stay at home. Okay. If, if you absolutely insist, I'll come in. That's fine. But my preference would be to be able to do it via Zoom. To do it Zoom. We'll do it both ways then. And that will uh, keep everybody in the loop. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Okay, and uh, Betty Sue, I yep. still would like to, uh, if we can see if Mike can do that uh, work. I on will, it. yeah, it's on my list already. Okay, yep. uh, is there, uh, just to give everyone an opportunity of anything that they would like to uh, uh, see happen or um, any concerns or issues that they would like to bring up this time before we, uh, excuse me before we dismiss? Yeah, I got one quick thing. Um, yes, what, what are the chances after the election that this committee is actually gonna change? They will. Committees will change. Committees will change. probably change. No, I mean, I mean this committee right here that we have, the president, vice president, secretary, treasurer. They, have, the to be, they have to be re-elected okay. at the meeting that announces yes. who their new board members are. Yes. yes. Some years yes. there were no changes. Yes. It just continued on, but it still has to go through that process. And you still, yeah, you still have meeting. to. Yeah. Okay. Do, we, do, we, do we have any names out there for people that could be running or want to come on board? I've heard a couple. Okay, well, that's good. I've heard a couple. Yes. And, and a couple were kind of interesting. Um, but I will pass those to board members because I don't really think it should be something I do. You? I think that's, Something you guys do. Yes. Yes. So. I will, as I get people's names who are interested, who I hear from, I'll pass them along to you, Joyce, and you can pass them along to whoever. How's okay. That? that sounds like a plan. I get okay. so confused because elections coming up anyway in May, right? Correct. So, you know, it's going to be advertised and everything, and anybody who wants to run would have the Anybody that wants to run can run. run. That's right. But yeah. sometimes it's nice to put a bug in someone's ear if they don't happen to see the advertisement. Right. But most of the people who run do come into the library, so that makes a difference as well. Yeah, it right. does. Right. And then, it does. And then the mayor still has to appoint someone anyway. Correct. Right. right. Yep. And right. the school board. Any anything, Debbie? Uh no, I'm all set. <laughs> all right, a motion to dismiss. Mm -hmm. right. Gloria, second. Thank you all. Thank you for taking time. And I want you all to know it's yes. 806. 806. Good nice. job, Joyce. <laughs> all right. Good Thank job. you all for taking the time. All, all right. right. We'll see who, some of you tomorrow at 1030.
Yes, I'll see you tomorrow at 10.30. Okay. God, it's not 10 o'clock. I need that half hour. I know. I know. All right, I'm going to close us out. Okay. And those of you who are still here can just walk yourself right out that front door. The door will lock behind you. And I will set the alarms once you are gone. Get my have, a, have a good night, everyone. You too. Take care. All right. Okay. Oh.